My Android phone is getting slow. It's over a year. I think I need an upgrade. Its, its performance is not that great as it used to be six months back. And there are all sort of things that you'll hear from many Android users which actually say that their phone is getting older and it's becoming slow. So well, is this really the case? In this video, I'm going to talk about why your Android phone uh, becomes slow or they appear to become slow over time. Well, my name is Ashish. You're watching Guiding Tech and let's get started. So the very first thing that I would like to talk about is all those apps that you install on your phone. Yes, I mean, when your phone is new, it just comes with like those stock apps, which are like, what, 20, 21 maybe. And uh, if you have an Asus phone, you might even have 40. <laughs> but still, I mean, over time you install new apps and those apps receive updates. Now what happens is the developers uh, who actually work behind the scene make their, uh, I mean, they know that more powerful devices are coming in the market. So there are devices which have Snapdragon 821 with 6 GBs of RAM now and they will actually make their apps uh, much more fluidic and they don't ca uh, care about how much RAM it's gonna use because the new devices will have a lot of RAM. But then if you update the same app on your phone with your 2 GB of, of RAM will be consumed in like this and the best example that we can uh, relate to is Facebook and Chrome. These apps I mean, for the past one year, the kind of updates they have received, uh, the, the consumption of the memories have increased significantly. And from what I personally believe, Chrome and Facebook are the two main reasons for high memory usage on phone. So in such a scenarios, what you can do is you can actually update the apps that you really want and uninstall and look for alternatives for those heavy apps. For, for Facebook, you can install Facebook Lite, Metal and for Chrome, we have Apex browser and a whole lot of other browsers which take less memory. The second major culprit is the amount of apps that you install on your phone. So what happens is uh, you want to try out one app and you install it and after two days, you literally don't want, I mean, you never open it and it just eats up your memory make files that are not necessary for your internal storage and this is just one app that I'm talking about. What happens is uh, if you use your phone for six months or let's say more than six months also, there must be a couple of apps that you don't usually use but they'll still be there. So I want you to actually go and hunt for those apps that you no longer use, uninstall them right now and then see the difference. You'll have increased uh, internal storage along with reduced memory footprints. So do it right now and I'll provide you with an uninstaller link in the description of this video. The third thing that you should be worried about is OTAs. Yes, updates are good for your device but at times what happens is these updates are not that optimized or uh, they are better graphics, the performance tweaks and as well which might not be favorable for your battery life or your uh, hardware. So in such a case, don't just update your phone blindly. Wait for a few days, go to forums, uh, listen to what others are saying about that particular update, what is good, what is bad, what has been fixed, uh, what has been optimized and then take your decision to update your phone. So I'm not saying that you should not update your phone guys. You should be updating your phone if it is having a security bug fix or any other uh, critical updates but then always research before you press that button. The fourth tip that I would like to provide is you should restart your phone often. I mean, most of us don't restart our devices. So take for example a computer. You have been using it for two days, three days, but after a certain point of time, it needs a reboot. So once in a fortnight, shut down your device for let's say one hour, reboot it, give it, give it a fresh start and you'll really feel that difference. Now the fifth thing that you should all take care about is the residue or the junk files. Now let me be very clear, the apps that you have on your phone, their cache files are not junk file. Those are, I mean those are the files that the app need when, they, I mean to function better. So let's say you're using Facebook, it downloads some of the photos as cache so that later on it, I mean they don't need to download it. 
but then there are certain files like leftover of an app you have uninstalled or some images thumbnails and a hell lot of other things so in such a case there's an app called sd made that you should install uh, do a detailed analysis of what's there on your device there, there's a module called cops finders storage analyzer that you can use and clean the internal storage of your phone so guys now you know why your phone is running slow and it's been a year and the 2 gbs of ram with the snapdragon 414 might not be enough for the apps and games that are there today so one thing is you can go for an upgrade or the second thing is you can uh, use these five tips and uh, hope that your device functions smoothly so that's all in this video and if you like the information don't forget to give us a thumbs up and do share it with your family and friends because you would like to help them right so yes do hit that share button right now and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do click on this subscribe button it is important and it gives us that morale boost to make these kind of videos for you so well that's all in this one and i hope to see you in my next video until then take care and have a wonderful day bye bye